hi guys in this lecture i am going to teach you how to give the rounded corners to the div how to set the image uh, at the place of the border so here i have already created a div and give it a height and the weight and the border so now here i'm going to make its corner rounded here you can see that this is a div its corner or edgy it's not rounder so now i'm going to make this corner rounded first of all here write the border then here is the top and then left and then hyphen and then radius so now first of all i'm going to make the rounded corner of the top left side here i'm going to make this corner rounded and give its value 10 pixel so now it's become rounded here i'm going to check it radius radius spelling is wrong so here you see that the border is, corner is become rounded so now i'm going to increase its value and now check it here 20 pixel and now check it here this corner is become rounded and you can also give these values to all the four corners here i'm going to make it right top right corner it also become 20 pixel and the bottom left and bottom right corner here i'm going to make it bottom and here it's become rounded and here is arts also the bottom here is the right bottom right corner and now it's also become rounded and you can also give it the background color then you can see this clearly here i'm going to give it the background color here is the background color is red so now let's check it how it look like so it is more attractive and you can also give it the background image here i'm going to give it the background image url and then here one dot jpg and now let's see it so here is the image and it also have the rounded corners and now here you can see that we have to put a lot of properties to make all the four corners rounded but we have also another thing that is shorthand property you can put all of these values in the single property whose name is border radius and first value is for the top left corner second is for the top right here i'm going to give these values 10 pixel for the top left then 10 pixel for the top right corner and then the 10 pixel for the bottom right corner and then the 10 pixel for the bottom left corner so all these four values for all these four corners and if we give only three values then the first value is for the top left corner and the second uh, value is for the top right and the bottom right corner and the third value is for the bottom left corner here let's see that and if we give only two values so first value is for the top left and bottom right corner and the second value is for the top right and bottom left corner so let's execute it so here and if we give only one value so it also work and this value is given for all over the four corners here you can see that and the next thing is I have copied some values from the internet so you can also give it the elliptical shape by giving these fixed values here is the 50 pixel 15 pixel by 50 pixel so it's become elliptical here you can see that and if we convert these values here I'm going to make it 50 and here is 
so now let's look at it so here it's elliptical from this side and you can also give it 50 percent and let's watch it so here it's become a hole it's become like a window so this is the way we can give the rounded corners and make the picture around it so in now i'm going to teach you how to give an image at the place of the border so now i'm going to remove this and here is a div and here is the div and now i am going to give it the transparent border first of all it have the transparent border here its style is become transparent so now the border is not shown on the screen and now we can give it the border image border image and here is the source in the source we are able to specify the URL of the image here is the URL is 1.jpg and now let's look at it so now here this border is so small so now I'm gonna give it uh, some other properties so it is visible uh, now we have to give it the border slice property here is the border slice property border image slice so what is the function of the border image slice the border image slice divide the image in nine sections four for the corner four for the edges and one for the middle section and now i'm gonna give it value 30. so now here you can see that the image is given to at the place of the border here is the image here you can see that this is the sky and here are the mountains here you can see the image so now the next thing is border image width here is the border image width we can specify the border image width here is I'm gonna give it 10 pixel so the image width is increased at the border here the width is increased so you can see the image clearly here is the 20 pixel here is the image and the next thing is uh, the border repeat border image repeat repeat and we can give it different values first is round it so when we give the rounded values uh, round rounded value to the repeat uh, the image is tilled or half to fill the border area here you can see that the image have the opposite reflection at this side so it can be the image can be fit in this border image area and the next property is the stretch so when we give the stretch to it so the stretch property uh, extend the image to fill all the area the when we give the rounded property so it tilt the image to cover the area but stretch will extend the image expand the image to fill the area and we can also give it repeat and execute it so here the image is repeating and the next thing is we can also give all these values in the shorthand property border image here is the border image and here we can write the URL of the image here is the URL 1.jpg here I am going to insert another picture and then we have to write uh, the 30 for the slice and then repeat the image so now let's look at it so here the image is changed 
so this is the way we can use the shorthand property for the border image if you have any problem so kindly add the discussion on udemy i will help you as much as i can thank you for watching this video